Cindy returns to her doctor. Let's take a look here. Let's take a seat up here. My Got a lot worse. Yeah. Let's do a skin culture okay. here. Do you remember having chicken pox as a child? I'm sure I did. I was probably really young, but yeah. yeah. So we'll have the results back in a few days, and hopefully that will clear everything up. The culture taken of Cindy's sores will reveal if she's carrying the varicella zoster virus, which causes chicken pox or shingles. We have the results. You tested negative for shingles. Okay. I've ran all the tests I know. I think he was stumped by her case, basically said, gee, this is over my head. Try to find somebody who, who knows what's going on. Look! Get him off of me! With no new answers, Cindy's condition would only escalate. He is tormented by the sensation that rats and bugs are nibbling away at her skin. Is she suffering from a minor virus, or is her mind playing tricks on her? Her skin was broken out with bleeding sores that wouldn't heal. I've been so tired. All I want to do when I get off work is crawl into a ball and go to sleep. Confused by her condition, Cindy's doctor sends her to a specialist. Well, Cindy, it's a lot of swelling, a lot of redness. It looks to me like you have a pretty extreme case of folliculitis. A swab of her sores would subsequently reveal a secondary infection of staph bacteria. Folliculitis and staph infection would be a good thought for skin lesions uh, that are non-healing. So this is for the antibiotic for the staph. There's also a prescription for an ointment there. Perfect. That should help uh, ease the swelling, be some comfort. This may not be actually going out, but at least you're not sleeping. As Cindy's skin problems go away, she becomes more confident and resumes her old social habits. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. Oh, you look great. And return. This time, Cindy believes that the sores are accompanied by a disturbing new symptom. Are the multicolored fibers real, or is Cindy imagining them? I need to make matters worse, Cindy once again feels as if her skin is swarming with parasites. By now, Cindy can no longer conceal her illness from her boyfriend. It has been a year since the lesions last surfaced. But Cindy tests negative for any sexually transmitted diseases. There is also no evidence of diseases that are not communicable, like multiple sclerosis. Is there something physically wrong with Cindy? Or is it an extreme manifestation of stress or depression? She's in the ER as a patient, suffering from extreme fatigue and lesions all over her body. Lesions which up until now she has kept hidden from her co-workers. Skin lesions could be a lot of different things. Bacterial infections, fungal infections, scabies, psoriasis. We have the results of your blood work back. And they're negative. Everything is negative. There is nothing physically wrong with you are clearly real. Her neurosis lead ER staff to conclude that her wounds might be self-inflicted. They suggest that her condition may be a psychological one. That means that the bugs that you're feeling are in your mind. Delusions of parasitosis is a mental disorder where a patient believes that parasites are coming out of the body. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I can't see one more doctor. <laughs> What time is it supposed to be on? It's coming on right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta go. Bye. Uh, over the course of several months, I, I uh, it just progressively got worse. Something crawling underneath my skin. Most people actually think it's a rash that'll go away. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't. It eventually spreads across the body. Within these wounds are tiny fibers. The story describes lesions with tiny fibers growing out of them. The way they grow actually makes people feel like they have something crawling inside of them, like they've gotten a bug. Very clearly have a disease called Morgellons. 
Morgellons is a condition which a growing number of physicians believe to be a chronic infectious disease with symptoms that include erupting skin lesions, joint pain, and debilitating fatigue. Morgellons is just now starting to be researched and understood. We don't exactly know what they are, but we know for sure that they're not parasites. We have one theory, the type of bacteria that we have now found in all of the Morgellons patients is called agrobacterium. Uh, agrobacterium is a plant bacteria that typically only infects plants. But we think that what may have happened in these patients is that they have an infection with this plant bacterium, and that then causes these fibers to grow out of these skin lesions. So in a sense, these patients are being turned into plants. If Morgellons is caused by a plant bacteria, how did Cindy get infected with it? It has recently been shown that ticks can carry agrobacterium. Morgellons could be called a co-infection or an associated disease with Lyme disease. Lyme disease is a bacterial infection that is also transmitted to humans. The association between the two diseases is so common. We got the results back, and you tested positive for Lyme disease. Unfortunately, there is no definitive treatment or cure for Morgellons. Prescribes an experimental treatment for Morgellons, an anti-helmentic, a drug typically used to deworm animals. Morgellons is so emergent that the condition is not officially recognized by the medical community. However, growing evidence has prompted the Centers for Disease Control to investigate.